Okay, here we go. This is Garrett. Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This video is called So How Do the Spirits Keep Us Awake at Nighttime? Okay, so it's nighttime. We're trying to go to bed, and the spirits keep us awake. Now, did you notice I used the word spirits? not angels, and not demons. And why? Because I believe God uses holy angels and demons to keep us awake at nighttime sometimes. He can use them both. So I just use the word spirits. I want to share with you what God's teaching me so you can be more blessed, so you can get more educated, so you can learn more about what's going on in your life at nighttime, and so you can spread the word and the worldwide church body can get more educated. Amen. Praise God. Okay, I want to name three or four or five ways that the spirits um, sometimes keep me awake at nighttime. Number one, sometimes they make noises in my bedroom and they do the same thing to you whether you noticed it or not. Now, they've been making noises in my bedroom my entire life, but I didn't know it was a spirit back then. I didn't even know this 10 years ago. But yes, they're making noises in our bedrooms, whether they tap the wall, whether they tap the mirror, um, whether they make a little clicking noise or whatever kind of noise, it doesn't matter. But sometimes they make noises right when you're falling asleep. You're in bed, you got the blanket over you, you got your favorite pillow, you're ready to go to sleep, and guess what? As soon as you start falling asleep, bam! Something's tapping the wall, something's tapping your bed, something's tapping the mirror, something's making a noise, and you, and you jump awake. I want you to know the spirits have been doing this. Most likely it's demons. I'm not saying the holy angels don't do this. Um, I believe it's both. Okay, how else do they keep us awake? Sometimes they mess with our electronics. Oh, yes, they do. Some of you have seen scary movies where the ghosts and demons are messing with the electronics. Well, yes, they do that sometimes. Yeah, they do. Whether you have an air conditioner, a heater, a fan, or even your lights. If they can get permission from Jesus, they will mess with your electronics and keep you awake. Okay, what else do they do? Sometimes they touch my body. I don't mean touch it the way a human being would. I mean a light light touch the way it would feel if an insect landed on your body and you're trying to sleep and you're in bed and you're tossing and turning and you're being tormented and you got to get up and go to school or go to work and something is lightly touching your body just lightly maybe your stomach maybe your kneecap maybe your hair in fact there's a spirit that touches the top of my head sometimes when I'm trying to go to bed. It's real light, like a fly or an insect flying around your hair. I want you to know that's a spirit. I want you to learn about all of these. I want you to get more educated here. Sometimes when you're trying to go to sleep, the demons or spirits will start attacking you with bad thoughts. Bad thoughts about your mom and dad. Bad thoughts about your boss or, or supervisors. Bad thoughts that your car is broke or your computer is broke. Bad thoughts about your life, your friends. And especially bad thoughts about you and other Christians. That's a favorite attack. I want you to know those bad thoughts flying in and flying in are being done by spirits. They get permission from Jesus 
Yes, they have permission to do this. And you'll be attacked with bad thoughts and bad imaginations out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Thoughts about your childhood. Thoughts about being abused as a teenager. Thoughts about maybe you're going to get fired at work. These thoughts are coming out of nowhere. This is to keep you awake and to torment you. Now, remember, all of this is happening for your good. God's using all this for your good. God is sovereign over all of this. God's in control. God's planning all of this. It's all for your good. I just want you to recognize some of the attacks. Sometimes when you lay down and go to bed, you're going to feel a spiritual aggravation, a spiritual irritableness. Where you're laying down, but you feel aggravated. You don't know why. Nothing's happened. You feel irritable. You feel tormented. You feel emotionally and spiritually tormented. And you don't even know why sometimes. That's because you're under attack. So you don't sleep. So you practice spiritual warfare. So you'll pray for help. So you'll humble yourself and spend time with Jesus. Because he loves you. I pray this is helping you. Sometimes when I try to go to sleep and I'm falling asleep, someone will call my name. It could be in lots of different voices. It could be in my dad's voice. Um, I've even heard my name being called in my voice. I've heard my name being called in, in other male voices, like mature men, like possibly God the Father. Sometimes, yeah, when I'm falling asleep, I, or, or sometimes when I'm sleeping, I'll hear my name called and I wake up. Sometimes when I'm falling asleep or sometimes when I am, am asleep, I'll hear a knocking, like a knocking on the door. Like, I, like I, I wake up, like I'm startled, like there's a knocking on the door. There's no one there. There's no one in my condo. There's no one at my bedroom door. Of course not. It's some kind of experience Jesus wants us to go through that wakes you up or doesn't let you go to sleep. Once in a while when I'm trying to go to bed or when I'm sleeping, I hear a doorbell. Like someone is ringing the doorbell to my condo. That's something else that's being used with, with, with most of us. Now that one doesn't happen too often. That one's a little bit rare, but that does happen a couple times a year. Sometimes when I'm trying to go to sleep, um, I, I have to scratch uh, different parts of my body like every three minutes or every five minutes. That's because the spirit is aggravating your body. So you have to scratch it real quick. Like you feel this weird thing on your leg, you got to scratch it. Two minutes later, you're trying to go to bed, you grab your pillow, you're turning over to go to sleep, boom, you got to scratch your stomach. Then you got to scratch your head. Then you got to scratch your arm. I want you to know that's a spirit doing that. Sometimes when you try to go to sleep, you feel the presence of evil entering your bedroom. You blame it on the scary movie you were watching a couple hours earlier, or you blame it on the scary video you saw on YouTube. Or you blame it on your wicked imagination. You're trying to go to sleep and you get this evil, scary feeling in your bedroom. That's a spirit attacking you. Sometimes when you try to go to sleep, you'll get sexual thoughts and sexual imaginations coming into your mind, heart, and soul. You're under attack. Now, God is giving permission for this. God has planned this. God has ordained this to happen. God is allowing this to happen. God is ordering this to happen. And it's all for your good, but you're under attack when you're trying to go to sleep. You're under attack with sexual topics. And we're hitting 10 minutes here. I want to finish up with, with the real big one, the, the big one. Many times when we try to go to sleep, 
um, our private parts get sexually aroused. Whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. You're trying to go to sleep, and out of nowhere, the private parts of your body are sexually aroused. You don't know why. You haven't done anything. You're not thinking anything. You're not doing anything. Yes, this is an attack. This is real, and this happens when you, many times when you try to go to sleep. Now, it happens during the daytime also, but that's a whole other video. So many times when you're in bed and you're trying to go to sleep, your private parts get sexually attacked. This is real. This happens by the millions and millions every single night. It's not just you. It's not just me. It is millions and millions of people all over the world every night. What happens is the spirit starts arousing and attacking our private parts. That's, that's what's going on there. I want you to know that when you're trying to sleep. You're under an attack. Now, would a holy angel do that? One second, let me pray for a second. I believe Jesus said, no, the holy angels don't do that part. So that would be the evil spirits doing that. By the way, I just got attacked right now. Now, some of you new Christians, you probably think I'm weird. You probably think I'm strange. If you're a brand new Christian, you don't know about demonic warfare. I'm telling you, when you expose their deceptions, you will get attacked like I'm doing right now. When you talk about these secrets, you might get attacked. When you make videos exposing all the things that they do, you might get attacked while you're doing it. It's real. So I'm finishing the video with the big, big, big one. Many times when you're in bed and you're trying to go to sleep, don't be surprised if your private parts get excited and aroused because this is an attack to torment you, torture you, to keep you awake, to get you to think of bad thoughts, to get you to masturbate, to get you to sin, to keep you awake, etc., etc. So I pray this video is going to bless some of you. I pray many of you are realizing you've been under attack your whole life, but you never knew about it. And I pray you're going to seek out God on what to do about this. Amen. Praise God. Amen.